everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Gordian Quest 1.0. Uh, at least I think that's the version I'm on. I'm gonna be just diving into. Yeah, let's do a normal, uh, normal realm mode. Effectively, this is the roguelike mode. Uh, so if you guys haven't seen this game before, it is a, uh, it's I guess a duality deck builder roguelike, or not roguelike. Uh, there is a campaign mode that's about 20 hours long. Uh, that you can play instead with the full story, cast of characters, no permadeath, and uh, you actually get to keep your cards, your equipment, and, you know, fine-tune your build a lot more. However, I'm going to be playing the roguelite mode because I feel like you can get a more complete experience a little bit faster that way. Obviously, no plot, but that's okay. So, enemies have extra HP, party loses... Oof. That one's tough, but it pays well. And yeah, doing it... We'll make it work, or we'll d die horribly. You know, what's the worst that could happen, right? Right at the start? Oof. Uh, let's see, so we've got exploration zones. I think we can heal with those, which is something to keep in mind. Also, fights are good. We might want to do one of the elite fights, but I think I'm going to go here first. Right, you can also camp. I forget how to do that. Okay. So I can go here. Bonus map chest. Random armor. Random here. Bone pile. What if I do this? Just close enough. Grab those. There's an encounter here, but I don't want... I don't want to deal with that. Okay, so we get a secret. Contains a map. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it. Or maybe I can. We could skip the bone pile. Yeah, let's skip the bone pile. Okay. Gets us this, and then we get the random map. Which we take. I don't know what the map does. But that's okay. Uh, let's see. And we've got another exploration. Uh, let's see. So, Bertram. Scout enemy location. Reduce the detection range. We also have a stairwell. Deeper in the area, markers will be reset. More enemies and treasure will spawn. Try this. Okay. Moving further out. We get that. Travel again. And if we go here, we go deeper, we have more. Perfect. Okay, random boon and bane in the map after exploration ends. Otherwise, I do... Something like this. Can I get all three of them? Yes. Okay. Take that. Next marker. Did we avoid that? Holy smokes, we avoided that. I'm going to go for all three of these. And then we're going to grab the map. Okay. Bring this map to Kyriel to begin an exploration. Interesting. I don't know what or who. I... Oh, well. Doesn't matter. So here's the question. Do we want to do dice room and then two hard fights as our first fights? That seems like a really bad idea, but maybe it's worth it. Because the alternative is we could go to safe passage to heal up. Because I don't think I can camp otherwise. Journal, skill grid, heroes. Which, speaking of, I should take a look. Yeah, none of these guys actually have anything in the skill grid, so I can't mess with that. Back to the map. Hmm. Ah, this is a question. Now, you know what? Fortune favors the bold. We'll figure out what happens. Uh, let's see. And off we go. A bookish figure in wide-brimmed hat sits by a campfire, mixing several vials of liquid. Liquids. The man claims to be an alchemist, trialing a new, new and potent health tonic. Sure, let's try it. Oh, we lost some HP. Well, that's rude. And onwards. I've never tried this combo before either, so uh, we'll really see what happens. Looks like it, we, it might just be the singular spider. Uh, let's see. So it is doing poison spit on two random cells, which might be those? We'll see. 
Okay. Gain two vigil, remove tones. So this character is the Bard, and they're a three-star complexity. I've never used them before, so I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work. Generate 30% guard for the next X instances. When active, enables bonus effects of green tones. Tones refer to metal tempo and glamour. Can be consumed to boost certain cards. Uh, let's see. And always start with that card. We also have Course of Swiftness. All allies gain five guard. But if I have... Uh, if I have that tone, plus three guard for every inspiration. Okay, ricochet, and this. So I've got three energy here. So I think we're going to do ricochet, swiftness, and then chorus. Which only gave us five guard. Well, never mind. And I'm going to grab the money, just because. And that was it for her tokens. So, 5 guard on next hit, reduce physical damage taken, quick fist, 10 damage, and gain agility. Okay. Let's see. I might as well do quick fist, quick fist, and a parrying palm for more guard. And let's grab... Let's grab that. Okay, so we have siege turret. Effective against groups. Paling shot. So he might only shoot things in front of him, which is a bit of a doozy. I'm going to shift back here. We're going to put the siege turret down in front of us. And far shot. And hope for the best. It's going to do poison spit. Okay, so it did actually just choose the tiles that I thought. Oh, wow, that poison looks bad. That poison was bad. And can't do too much about it. Ouch. Okay, plus one hit for every agility. So it looks like we're at two out of three. Or I do a quick fist and a surging fist. Kill it. Probably should have grabbed the money first, but oh well. All right, and... You know what? We'll make it work. Or something. I'll just keep in mind. Okay, so it's doing poison spit, so she can't be there. I guess I'm just gonna beat up rocks. Okay. So once again... It's doing poison spit there. So we have to not be there. Guard, inspiration, and more guard. We also have course of... Verse of swiftness, swiftness, course of swiftness. Okay. So this might just mean if I have it. I see. So if I do intro to swiftness, verse of swiftness... What does this one do? Allies gain six guard, limited chorus, I see. Or I could do this, which gives us even uh, even more guard that we might or might not need. All right. And then I'm just gonna put the siege turret down. Proved ammo? Sure. Why not? Okay, so those random tiles are in fact conclusive. Okay, so it looks... Conveniently, it looks like it's actually... Aiming where I need it to. Unfortunately, he can do nothing. So I guess he's just going to sit there and dodge. Because, yeah, unless it moves... I'm not get, getting to it. I can't shoot any of these rocks either. Ugh. Inconvenient. However, Gunman should be fine. Path is blocked. I can do nothing about it. Well. Yeah, hopefully that poison goes away at some point. Can my turret get poisoned? It can. I think the turret's gonna win. 
I think that's the the easiest answer. Oh good. He can shift. Which means I can kill it. Perfect. Did they level up? No, they have not leveled up yet. Dang. Well, it was worth a shot. Okay, so we're still pretty injured. Oh, but we do have a camp. I was wondering about that. All right, no poison to deal with, but we do have, we do have wolves. Wolves might be a problem. We'll see. Uh, key shot, four vulnerable or four damage, eight vulnerable. Let's do a parrying palm, a key shot. Okay. He's doing axe throw on him. He's going to take eight damage. So I think I'm just going to do that. Okay. Start with this. Gain the inspiration. And then chorus. There. Now we shouldn't have to worry about taking any damage. And I can do whatever. So sentry turret rank 1. Effective against single targets. We have also impaling shots. But I think I'm just going to get the sentry turret down. And then just shoot this guy once. And it kills him. Perfect. Okay. We don't take too much damage. I don't remember if the monk was a playable character the last time I played. Well, doesn't matter. Okay. So we don't have any agility charges at the moment. However, we should be able to just completely mulch them. Oh, good. Okay. First of swif swiftness. Who is he hitting? Ah, he's hitting him. Well, we'll just wait. Doesn't really matter. Uh, do we put down the siege turret? And we're only taking five damage, so if I just block once, it should work. Perfect. Now, is it gonna bite my turret? I really like the minion mastery. I know there's also a Golemancer. I think the... Does the Druid also have some level of mini mastery? I don't remember. Okay, well, we've leveled up. So we can get a stat point or initiative, pretty much. Getting the skills or increasing a skill rank seems help helpful. So, you know, for the time being, let's go for the max HP. Because right now that is going to save me uh, from a fair bit of pain and suffering and frustration. Oh, it's a Darkest Dungeon style camping system. It works. Uh, let's see. Gain 20 energy, remove to exhaustion. Do we even have much for exhaustion? No, we don't have any. Pitch tent. Special activity card. Draw a warm meal. I've got 12. Tasty meal. Gain buff. Random crafting materials. Draw chat. Let's do a tasty meal. Oh, I, oh this is costing me supplies. So I can't do this too much. Because yeah, I can pitch tent. I can forage. Okay. So let's have her forage. Oh, looks like that's the only thing we can do. And I could spend some fate on some of these. But I don't know how valuable that is. I'll have him work on that. Okay. Target hero gains one exhaustion. Intrusion cards have no effect while the hero is engaged. Eh. Oh! So these tasty meals have to be eaten immediately.
This is... I don't think I've done this before. It's kind of a neat system. So I could draw more, more warm meals. Oh. Draw chat. I think we'll work on the uh, exhaustion. Exhausted cards in the deck. Resting will be interesting. Draw chat. Let's see. Target hero draws one of their camp abilities. Sure. Okay. Start a conversation with another hero. If played on self, convert this to meditate. Keep watch. Oh, I see. He can only do that. Oh. Can't do it for a bit. Okay. So we'll have him scavenge. We'll have him forage. So we are getting supplies back, which is good. I was hoping I could heal more from this, but oh well. Okay, so let's have him forge again. And we'll have these two chatting. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Drawn games friendship. Training in the temple focuses on the mental as much as the physical. We train our train to master ourselves. Only then can we master the world. I could write a song about this. Gain a hundred friendship question mark. Okay, wow. I apparently can do this for a while. I could also just pass some time, which isn't the worst idea. Let's see. I do that more. We'll just have her cook. Okay, wow, we're gaining supplies like crazy. Okay, have him forage. Let's see. Do we do another warm meal? Let's see, moment of peace. Gain of fate. Have him forage. And we're going to perform. Okay, then we do a cold meal because it's wasted. And then I think we're just going to stop. I, well... No. I think I'm fine. I think I'm just running out of things for some of these characters to do. I like this camping system. It actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, let's see. Draw two stoke campfires. Well... Intrusion Raiders. Oh, plan target hero to remove card. If unplayed, lose supplies. Interesting. So they have to actually, they have to fight. Makes sense. Find a random item. Exhaustion. And let's have him cook. And then heal her. So we came out of this with more supplies than we started, and everybody's largely back up to full health. That actually is a really cool camping system. It takes a while. I wish I wish it was maybe more impactful, but took less effort. But at the same time, I don't know. It works. It definitely felt like a, a camping thing. What is this? Oh, we need inspiration, though. Okay, let's do a bardic expertise. And then ricochet, ricochet shot. Chain twice. What do we hit? I'll hit those guys. I'm not even thinking about it. Looks like we got some damage flying my direction, but not too much. So he's taking 11. She's taking 6. He's only taking 6. So I think we can just start fisting the bat. You heard me. Uh, let's see. ammunition. I think the turret is going to take the hits, and even if it doesn't, it blocks the hits. Because these aren't ranged enemies. Huh. Oddly enough, they can still vamp my turret and gain HP back. These are very versatile vampires. Okay, we have Course of Swiftness. But honestly not there for the damage. Oh, I was expecting that to work better. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Surging Fist. 
Well, I should probably hit for this. Then destroy. Yeah, I think that was a good turn. Oh, I still have energy? Whatever. Let's see, impaling shot doesn't work. I guess I'll just have him dodge. Not like that bat surviving. The improved ammo really works on the sentry turret, dang. Alright, we've got an event. So, triangular obelisk. There's a Vian symbol on each side. Uh, let's see, party decision. Red, green, or blue? Uh, I think the answer is green. Okay, attached skills gain three guard on use, stealth on use, stealth on use. Oh, I just get all of them. Heck yeah. We should probably take a look at that then. Uh, heroes. Shoot. I even remember how to. Oh! It's like a gear equipment system. Common item into a magic item. Oh, that's actually really useful. Yeah, the one problem is, since all of these characters are kind of sort of skill based, uh, they're competing for equipment, which is rough. I don't think it really matters too much here, but it is unfortunate. Uh, give him the boots. Give him the sword. How do I use it? Do we boost the sword? Yes. Oh, poison stacks you apply are increased by four. Well, that's not helpful. Bonus to strength based challenges. I see. I guess we'll give her the boots. Let's see. Trigger when the ally in the row attacks, follow up and deal 10 damage, retain. Oh. It's kind of useful. And we'll give her the staff, even if I'm not entirely sure if that's worth it for me. Okay. And then onwards. What is this thing? I've never seen that swirly thing before. Alright, so what do we got? Intro to swiftness. I mean, frankly, it seems like going for the full chorus is probably the, my best bet, always. Ooh, these guys look kind of dirty. Let's see. So what's he doing? Eight damage, speed down. Six damage to all targets, silence. And then that one. So we actually kind of want to hit him. I'm going to shift in case that lets him dodge. Okay, twin palms, 11 damage, drop some extra, uh, some next turn. Eh. So that's still aiming for him. That's going to hit everybody. I kind of want to hit that dude if I can. Yeah, that hurts a bit. Oh, good. And we've got uh, reinforcements. That's fun. Alright. So let's shift here. And unfortunately, all we have is Verse of Swiftness. And then we kind of wait on that one. Okay, we have Siege Turret improved ammunition. I'm going to get Siege Turret, but I think I'm just going to hit this guy and kill him. I was really hoping that Attack of Opportunity would trigger on her. It's fine. Okay, Rend, apply Bleed. What's he doing? Still doing blinds. have much for agility. So let's do a quick fist. Quick fist. 
I mean, I can just delete it. That's going for the rock, and he's defending self. Okay, we're safe. There we go. Seed shot's actually kind of neat. I mean, I don't know. Turrets in general are great. I'm curious if you can improve them. Trigger when an ally in the row attacks. Follow up, deal 10 damage. Interesting. Don't know. Let's see. Can't do Bardic Inspiration. But that's fine. We'll just wait. Okay, so what do we have? Impaling Shot? Bye. Oh, there, there she goes. Because it just had to be that attack. I don't know. Some of the systems confuse me, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Renown. Anvil. Ooh, reroll a legendary item one tier higher. Well, that's not helpful. Okay, but we've leveled up, so we can grab increased skill rank. So intrinsic. Three vigil. It's okay. Requires hero level 8 for that. What about bardic expertise? Chorus consumes inspiration. How oh, interesting. If inspiration's at max before consuming, increase it max inspiration by one. That's good. Let's see. Yeah, for mastery, stat scaling, extra SP. Wait, no, that ain't it. So they all only gain one inspiration. That's a shame. I was hoping for more from that. I guess let's do uh, intro to swiftness. Okay, increase skill rank. Ooh, oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's not do that then. Uh, do we have him learn a skill, grab a stat point? We could have head for the talent instead. Let's go for the talent on him. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's go back. Take a look at his... Oh, yeah, you can even see. So the sentry turret... Oh, doesn't scale at all. So he's definitely a dexterity character. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Unlock node. Definitely dexterity. Because his improved ammunition counts. Okay. Increase skill rank. So we can't do surging fist or parrying palm. But we can either do twin palms for three extra damage. Three extra damage. Some more vulnerability. Hmm... I don't know. Otherwise, we learned a new skill. So, Path of the Body. Ah, we can see which get... Which of these gets us what. Path of the Mind. So, a little bit more magic and strength based. And then Path of the Spirit is pretty much all magic based. A little bit of strength. The one that... Oh, apply regen. I'm going to have him try and pick up one of these. So, ally gains 30 critical. On draw, gain channel. On, on play, peak 4. There it is. Karuna. Just because we have no team healer, and I think a little bit wouldn't be a bad idea. That might be a mistake. What is this thing? Shroud in a mysterious sandstorm. Yeah, let's do it. What's the worst that could happen, right? Okay. Intro. Veil. Now, I could do Bardic Inspiration. Both are chorus. Allies gain six guard. Allies gain more guard. And Bardic Expertise isn't quite as good. Alright, so what do we have? Rend, bleed. Increase the value of damage received. So, 
Actually, that's really good. Okay, we can still do a dodge. Perfect. So, uh, let's see. Do we do Siege Turret? Yeah, because I don't think any of these guys are really attacking. They are going to set him on fire. And it's range, so I don't think they're changing. Well, works for me. Or they hit him instead? With an enfeeble? Or no, hit both of them. Well, I tried. Let's see, who are they aiming for? So, turret, monk. Probably archer, that. On the flip side... I kind of want to do the ricochet. Okay. He's going for the monk for 12 damage. We'll just hit him once. Oh, he had plenty. I guess I'm going to do that. We're not going to be able to avoid any damage, but the improved ammo means they just die. Perfect. Oops. I think monk's going to take some hits. It's fine. I'll just be a, a little injured going into the boss fight. I think we heal. Ooh. I think that was a bleed. Ow! Whoa! That went poorly. And not enough AP to play that, but maybe it's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm in a, I'm in a bad way. Unfortunately, initiative orders did not work for me. That's the unspent AP. Whoopsie. I probably could have done this a little bit better. I mostly just wanted to try new and different characters for once. Whew. And yeah, I can't gain him back, can I? Ooh, that's fun. Actually, maybe let's just use that now. Well, on the plus side, they did level up, so maybe I can do something. So what can we grab? Bonus damage and range cards. Critical, on turn gain guard equal to your dex modifier if there are no enemies in your lane. Interesting. Not sure how viable that's going to be. The extra dexterity is kind of tempting. Physical resist. Just a bunch of max HP. Cover health on kill. On turn start, gain critical equal to your dex modifier if there's an ally in your row. Capped at 10. That's kind of good, except for that's not really that useful for him. I'm thinking... Well, I'd like to do good health. Uh, let's see. Yeah, if there are no enemies in your lane, that's too random, though. Let's just do the acrobatic for the extra dexterity. Okay. Tempo is defensive. Glamour is confusing. I probably shouldn't have picked this character, to be honest. I, I think I'm not quite advanced enough for her yet. I was thinking, well, I'm somewhat of an expert in deck builders. Maybe it'll be fine. I was wrong. I was so wrong. Uh, let's see, bonus to initiative, or just add stat point. Mm. Now let's go for a tempo card. Passive. Each round, uh, start each round with 
Tempo, clearing all other tones. Gain inspiration, retain. Sure. So that does kind of lock her into a build, but we're just we're just going until we fight this realm boss. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We're not even fighting the realm boss. We have to fight these guys. Oh boy. We're in a bad way. Uh, let's see, I don't have anything else, and we have a lot of enemies aiming at me. Oh, oh boy. What do we got? Okay. On the plus side, we have the turret. That gives us a little bit extra. And while I like to do far shot, I want to try and avoid taking damage. And we're going to take a lot, aren't I? This is going to go so badly for me, but you know what? Is what it is. It's. I'm not always expected to win. Especially with the wonky builds. I like the bard. Definitely feels like odd duck character. Hard to work with here. Uh, let's see. We have tumble, but I think I'm going to get the siege turret out. And I'm going to boost its damage. We need AoE here. That's pretty good. Oh, he missed. We might actually win this one. Just barely. Only well, immediate problem is we are going to be pretty hurt going into the boss fight, and I'm not betting on a win. But you never know. Having those turrets goes so far. Uh, let's see, versus swiftness, intro to swiftness. Okay, so let's do this again. Gonna kill that guy. In retrospect, buffing the cannon, I don't think actually... Oh, no, no, no. It did help. Did it? Oh, wait, no, that was my turret. For a second, I thought... It's like, did that skeleton archer hurt itself? Am I that lucky? I'm not. I guess we'll hit it twice. Course of swiftness. Can't do anything else. Improve ammo. Good wait. Uh, I could try and like get around to attack it, but I think I'm fine. Well, they get a level. Huge benefit to being in the doghouse is that I am leveling kind of quickly. Uh, let's see. Let's just give him more HP. Time for a boss fight. Whee! This is gonna go badly. Well, intro to swiftness, verse of swiftness, chorus of swiftness, just for that extra. Because it's the initial round that's the worst. Oh, well, this is just kind of piss poor. Or not. I think they're both just aiming for her. Yeah. Still. Oh, we got a little bit of bleed going on. Let's see. Yeah, it's not much. But it'll do. Alright. Siege turret. And improved ammo. Because if they're aiming for the siege turret, the only immediate problem is... I would certainly hate to lose the siege turret this early, but... On the flip side, if I can get it down to just the boss, then we're okay. Or, of course, there's reinforcements coming. Okay. Gain some of that. Do a course of swiftness and then dodge twice. Uh, 
Uh, we have a couple of options here. I think my best option is to get the sentry turret down and then just defend further. Oof. Maybe we're fine? It, I... We are going to win or lose and almost entirely dependent on these turrets carrying me forward. I don't know. Time to find out. Alright. Take them down. Let's see. Intro to swiftness. Doesn't actually get me anything fancy. But it gets me some more block. And then I'm going to move back. Same deal. Move back. Oh. Uh, let's see. He's got 10 block. I don't know. I'm still going to play it safe. Well, she healed from something. I think my turret exploded and everything hurts. And she's got some more friends. Oh. On turn start, heal 4 HP per bleed on enemy team. Yeah, it's not going to help me, is it? Oh, she lost AP somehow. That's... That's bad. Yeah, slow. That's what got me. Oh, good to know. I can have multiple, um... I can have multiple of the same turret out simultaneously. Unfortunately, I think we're still in trouble, as the boss just is going to keep healing and I'm not going to be able to. Uh, but is what it is. Because at best, all she can do is boost that. Well, uh, let's see, he's got 18. Let's get rid of that guy, just so he doesn't get shot. Yeah, I think the boss is just going to wipe us out. I mean, maybe we'll get lucky, but too many vampire minions and I can't, uh, I can only do so much. Oh yeah, we were slowed. Fun stuff. Let's see, do we do an impaling shot? No, of course not, because we can't. It can do 27 damage, but... Yeah, she's got those blood spots. If we had our monk, we wouldn't have problems. But... We lost our monk. I mean, I think we'd still be having problems. We'd just be having less. Uh, let's just shift forward. She can only do two things. We are not maxed on inspiration, but I think I'm going to do chorus anyway just to give myself the block. Because I want to get the turret down. All right. Well, certainly a slow fight. The bleed is going to be what gets me. I mean, who knows? I did do 27 damage to her there. It's not the worst. Okay, so we have a chorus. Damn.
Oh, that actually, that did work. That didn't help much. But, whatever. Take what I can get. Let's see. Get the sentry turret down, then we block a little bit. And ah, she's got another friend. It's like she has endless, endless vampire mooks. Huh. Actually, yeah, they don't seem to go away. Unfortunately, I can't control my tur turrets and tell them to aim for anything. Much to my general chagrin. Okay. And we want to dodge. This is going to do 30 damage. I seriously hope it shoots for her. Damn it. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think I'm getting out of this one. Losing, losing the monk to a particularly volatile wombo combo has, uh, well, hadn't, has had some sad effects. Okay, versus swiftness. Nope. That ain't it. Let's just boost that damage. Do far shot, but it does. It's not gonna help that much. Yeah, if my turrets were a little bit more discerning. Because they keep killing the, uh, they keep killing the minions who just come back. If the minions coming back cost the boss something, it won't be so bad. But, oh, we lost the turret before it could do its boosted damage. All right. Well, shall we just call it here rather than dragging out? I'm just going to end turn a couple of times. It's fine. I had a good run, but yeah, she's back up to full health. A self-healing boss is rude. My previous runs of this have not been uh, nearly as crushing, but at the same time, I think I did rather well for picking the three weirdest characters I possibly could. I think the monk was a little bit more self-explanatory, and the engineer is really cool. The bard is the, the super questionable one, but I think so much of that just boils down to uh, once you know how to use her and use her well and have unlocked the right cards, she's probably a complete powerhouse. But for now at least, I think this is fine. So. Uh, Gordian Quest is available in 1.0 on Steam tomorrow, I believe. Uh, and it's a super solid game. Like, there's a reason why I put this specifically in my uh, 10 deck builders that I think everyone should try. Because it, it is that good. Uh, or deck builder roguelikes. Uh, largely because it is that good. And I love the fact that there is a linear campaign mode that you can play. That's huge. Uh, just because that opens the game up. So it's, it's fun for... Multiple people? I mean, uh, effectively, it's one of those where, uh, if you don't like the roguelike portion, then you don't have to engage with it. And even beyond that, like, so there's realm mode, which is what I was playing. So you can either do the quick run, uh, a series of five realms, which supposedly that's going to be half an hour, but I don't actually believe that. And then there's endless that just goes forever. There's also leaderboards for that if you want to mess with it. But... There's also, like, multiplayer, so if you want to actually duel a friend and go head-to-head -head against them, you totally can. And then there's campaign mode, which is, yeah, the thing I've been dancing around. There's also a prologue. If you want to see more of the plot, I think, I don't know. That's why I didn't want to pick it up, because uh, it seems like it would take a little while for me to get in and not be the best first impression for the game of, you know, a lot of dialogue, not a lot of card. Uh, the card gameplay is really solid, and I love the fact that it's a team of three, too. And you can mix and match between quite a bunch of, uh, quite a lot of different characters, uh, which makes things kind of fun. Uh, there are a couple other party-based deck builder roguelikes, but not that many. And so, honestly, this one's probably the best. So, all of that said, I guess the last thing is uh, that it is, I think it's 20 bucks for early access. It might be going up for 1.0, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see, I didn't see anything about a price uptick, but I wasn't looking that hard. And, uh, oh, interesting, they're actually going to be doing a, uh, a short Kickstarter specifically. So if you want to pick this up on consoles, uh, check that out. But, all that said, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.